Today's episode of the Nate Land Podcast is brought to you by DraftKings, Helix Sleep, Electric E-Bikes, and Grand Canyon University. Hello, folks, and hey, Bear. Welcome to the Nate Land Podcast 2024. I'm Nate Bargetzi. Uh, Brian Bates, Aaron Weber, Dusty All right. Slay. All right. We did it. You're here. Uh, welcome. New year. Starting off fresh. Well, I mean, we already have one episode came out that we recorded last year with Angela. But this is so the first front real 2024. But this is their, us together. It's going to be a big year. 2024. Dude. Big year. It Could is be. a big year. Could be a big year. You ever just feel it coming into the year? Like it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be a big one. Yeah, you do. You feel that? I'm trying to just convince myself of it. Yeah. If I say it enough, then I yeah. think it'll happen. I feel like even years, for whatever reason, more stuff happens in odd years. <laughs> no, 2001. Like in the world, just in general, in the world, or well, in your life? No, I meant in the world. 2001 was pretty bad. That was odd year. That's true. Yeah. In 2000. I mean, uh, it's not a perfect yeah. plan. I 2001. Have here, but... Yeah, changed the world in a real yeah, negative yeah. way. Yeah. 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 I mean, uh, that just shot down that theory yeah. quick, dude. Well, I mean, that's one. The most case. pivotal event of our lifetime was I an mean, odd year. Yeah. There's some stuff in 2023 that happened that was, <laughs> you know, they're kind of going Moon landing right was now. 69. 2020 yeah. was yeah. a bad one, too, though. 2020. Well, I was think a, that's that what was he's saying. Even, yeah, it was an even, and that was yeah. a bad one. I guess I just think Olympics happened even years, and I feel like the World Cup happens even years. A lot of stuff. Elections. Fun stuff. You're yeah. saying elections. Oh, you're saying good stuff happens. Well, I just meant in general. I hadn't yeah. really thought this through. You just said it. Yeah. Good happens in even, bad and odd. Oh, yeah. Is that what you're saying? Sure. Yeah. Right. I take back what yeah. I said about this year. Well, the way the world feels, <laughs> I bet it's going to be awesome. Um, seems like everybody's getting along. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. We're getting along. We're having fun. We are. We have fun. I think uh, it's going to be a big year for Dusty Slay. Yeah. It's, it's going to be a big year Netflix for all of us. special comes out. Oh, yeah. Next well, week, that is true. It comes out next Tuesday, right? Yeah, next Jan- Tuesday. January 16th, yeah. Mm, big time, It's going to be a big year. Even day. Yeah. On an be, even day. Mm-hmm. On an even day, yeah. Which is an even year, yeah. 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 I saw the trailer drop. It looks great. Is that the same trailer that you posted originally? But it's making its rounds again. It looks legit. No, I think it's a new one. Yeah, it's yeah. a new. Tra- the first one was just music. This, this one has some of the jokes in it. jokes, yeah. Yeah, it's fun. It has. Uh, it is a good trailer, but they play, uh, you know, kind of like rock music along with my jokes, mm-hmm. which I don't really feel like fits uh, my jokes. You know what I mean? Like, like some of the jokes that I used on there, I like them all, but some of them are more subtle jokes. And so when you're like hitting it with some mm-hmm. real rock it feels like, uh, you know, I don't know. You wanted some smooth jazz yeah, or something. That Slip would be a little more your that vibe. That would be more my vibe. Yeah. yeah. Like I hit a joke and then the saxophone plays a little bit. <laughs> yeah. You know, or maybe people just would, some soft yeah. piano. <laughs> yeah. People, they would be confused. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's how I like it. What hat did you wear? Um, I wore my own hat. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Are you worried that title working man, people are going to do some background check and find out? You didn't live in a trailer park. No, well, that's no. true. I mean, no, I'm not worried about it because that stuff is true. <laughs> <Yeah>. So <laughs> so I'm not worried about that. My dad did go. He goes, what's with this working man thing? <laughs> and see, my dad still has my pictures from, you know, like high school hanging in my old room. Even though my old room is nothing like when I was growing up, the pictures are still on the wall. Mm. So my, st- my dad's still in, in his mind, I'm still like this high school slacker kid yeah he can't let it go listening to lip biscuit right yeah that i've lived an entire life since high school multiple lives really that i've gone through yeah with things and uh he's still locked in that i'm you know failing spanish class in high school you know yeah. that's the only class i was not doing well in but uh oh spanish yeah mm-hmm and he can't, he's like, you know, acting like I never worked a day in my life. And I'm like, <laughs> I've had several jobs. <laughs> I've been an alcoholic and recovered. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I've gone through things. He's like, oh, you ain't done nothing. <laughs> it's just working man. Working thing. man. What a yeah. lazy boy. Yeah. And yeah. then I start trying to explain and he zones off. I'm like, are you with us? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You probably had more jobs than any of us. Yeah. I probably had more jobs than my dad, yeah. if I'm being honest. I mean, not How many for, jobs do you think you had? 
Well, I've had quite yeah. a few, but you know, they they didn't all last a yeah. long time. Yeah. But uh, is it all on your LinkedIn? Should I pull that up? <laughs> it yeah. should be on my LinkedIn. I'd be I'd be wondering how many jobs I've had a lot of jobs too. Yeah, you probably. Yeah, have you not had a lot of jobs? No, I mean I'm educated. Huh? Yeah, that is true. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That is true. Educated <laughs> people don't have. Yeah, you get one and stick with it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I did yeah. have that old school mentality that doesn't exist anymore you get a good job you just stay there so yeah that's what my parents you know uh, yeah taught well me. we had i had that with the water company reading water they would have been that's what it, the plan was there mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. it started comedy but yeah I, I mean I, i've delivered pizzas i've delivered i think i had four of my jobs i think i did twice mm. <laughs> like i worked at papa john's twice i worked at western sizzling twice i worked at spectracide twice and at hyman's twice so that would have been eight jobs had I not just gone back. That's a good lesson not to burn a bridge on the way out. Too. Yeah. You never I'm, know. You're going to be back at Papa John's. I'm a two week notice later. guy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm all about the two week notice. And we might still go back. Who knows? That's what I always say. You know, I make fun of Spectre side all the time, but I'm like, hey, who knows? I wonder if two week notice is still around. Do people, they even care anymore? I would think people just quit now. When I got fired from my, my last quote unquote real job when they fired me i go so like you want me to do two weeks and they're like oh no you can leave today yeah. i was like oh man i thought i thought i had a two weeks where i could just chill and they didn't want it i don't think you get two weeks when the employee <laughs> yeah. fires yeah. you that's yeah i guess you're you, right that's when you're like hey i want you to know and i'm gonna be leaving you so i'm gonna give you a little bit of a warning yeah i guess you're right i just thought they i, I thought <laughs> i'd need a transitional period i gotta train the next guy yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. but they're like we don't need you you're giving yeah, they, us nothing they, they got rid of you mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you're fired so in in two weeks <laughs> yeah <laughs> now no. all right we'll bring that guy in i'll <laughs> tell him <laughs> yeah we're firing you but we'd love for you to train the next guy <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> we don't like how you work around here but we'd love for you to instill some of that in the next guy. i didn't even think about that we want your <laughs> philosophies yeah into the next next age group that yeah. comes in yeah. we want you to instill that work ethic <laughs> in the next generation <laughs> yeah weren't you a valet at one time i did do that but for about six weeks i got valet too yeah did yeah. you uh b and a at air at the nashville oh, airport oh, okay. oh, that's big time yeah you ever crash a car get in a wreck no it was right when sirius came out so you would like it was like you'd be getting some nice cars and you get to sit and listen to sirius radio oh, yeah. and it was like this is crazy <laughs> yeah. like and so sometimes you'd park a car and just go sit in the car for a little bit longer and listen to sirius radio that's fun mm -hmm. yeah i worked at the planners Inn downtown charleston very nice hotel and it was um yeah i mean those cars I would be like, oh, I don't, I mean, I don't feel comfortable driving this. Did you have like high profile clients that you're supposed to like know who they are? Well, you had an earpiece that you would wear. And so when people would pull up, they would say, especially if they were coming back, they yeah. would tell you in the ear, oh, this is Mr. Johnson, you know, and then I'm supposed to go out and go, welcome back, Mr. Johnson. <laughs> and I had a real hard time with that. Mm -hmm. I'm very polite to people, but I have a hard time being like, Oh, welcome back to the hotel, Mr. Johnson. Yeah. Can I help you with those bags? Mm. I'm just like, hey, you know, I mean, I'm I'm good to talk, but mm -hmm. I can't get into this. Let like them a, feel welcomed. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, <laughs> I go, you know, I, I just like to talk to everybody like we're just normal people out here. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So I have a hard time with, with that. And so it, it wasn't for me. Mm -hmm. And plus there are other bellhops and they would get real competitive, you know, because they want to make money. And I'm like... I want to make money too, but I'm not trying to, you know, I'm not trying to trip you up, you know, to get to the, the client. Yeah. Who was telling you it's Mr. Johnson, the front desk people, like they could see him pull I think in either. They had cameras or, or, or whatever. They yeah. had some system and then, you know, and then you'd get in the elevator and the front desk people would be making jokes with you in the elevator about the people. And mm. it's hard to not laugh, you know? Mm. Oh, that's funny. It, it is. A good I always thing. wanted a job where I had an earpiece. I never got it. You just feel official. Uh, right? The Manning cast. <laughs> yeah, the Manning cast. Uh, yeah, yeah. Your dream came true. Your dream came true. <laughs> and, it, and from what I'm gathering, wasn't as fun as you had hoped. Yeah. Yeah. I hated the I, I thought it was a lot of fun. Earpiece was one of the worst parts of yeah. it, too. Yeah. 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 I had a great time. Uh, but I, when, I, job. when I saw Obama speak, the Secret Service guys were all around. They all, you know. Where at? Notre Dame? Yeah, he did. That's the difference, man. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, I don't have a story where I say, when I watched Obama speak, I'm just was never in, I was never within 
six miles of a <laughs> president. Yeah. I mean, there's just, you're not going to be around. Like, we weren't I, hanging out or anything. Yeah, but, but you're not, I mean, I, you would never be, that's, that's the college education. <laughs> it's just, you're at least in the, uh, a couple blocks yeah. from someone, from a powerful person. We were under the same roof. Yeah. 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 Versus like where, yeah, where we're, I mean, I never had a job. You're like, no one's, you know, I mean, we went to deliver a wash and dryer to the Dixie chicks. Uh, <laughs> That's pretty cool. All three of them? <laughs> no, it was like they're a, they're a, they're a studio or something oh, okay. or whatever. So, I mean, that, you know. How many people have seen the Dixie Chicks' laundry room, though? I mean, that's pretty. I thought like that they is... shared an apartment. I was like, wow, they're legit. <laughs> no, yeah. No, Still do. Yeah, they had, it was. Uh, it's just the chicks now. Yeah, yeah. It was like their music office or okay. whatever, something. Okay. I forget. I remember delivering there. Probably platinum records on the wall. That's pretty yeah. cool. I got yeah. thrown out by the Secret Service at a Al Gore event once. What were you doing? Causing a ruckus? Didn't have the proper credentials. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> You were there at New Channel 5? Yeah, I was in New Hampshire, the New Hampshire primary, when mm -hmm. Al Gore ran for president. And the company that we were working with didn't have enough media credentials for everybody. <laughs> so <laughs> uh, we were like one short. So me and the camera guy had to share. Yeah. So you should. what I should have done was just hang tight close to him because he was wearing it and not make myself known but i well, started trying to make a name for yourself well like i started that. wandering a little bit mm -hmm. instead of just staying hid and a lady came up to me and was secret service and she was like where's your media credential and i'm like oh it's right over there in my coat and she's like well you need to wear it at all times when you're out and i'm <laughs> like, like okay listen i got an inconvenient truth for you lady. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and i walked over there and i told the camera guy i was like jerry jerry hand me your pass <laughs> And as soon as he did, like they grabbed me oh, man. and they hauled me out yeah. in front of everybody and they questioned me. They had, they had dogs. You got questions? Like, oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, he was vice president of the United States. And yeah. There's some guy pretending like he has credential and he doesn't. And I got questioned. <laughs> and then finally they were like, all right. They said, if you want to try to kill him, we'll let you try. <laughs> 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 he doesn't even need secret yeah. service for you they go we feel so comfortable we're gonna put you in a room alone with Al Gore <laughs> <laughs> what were some questions they asked you just who I was why yeah. I was there all that stuff they finally said you can go but you can't you can't stay in here mm -hmm. and so now I'm in New Hampshire in January I'm outside with no coat <laughs> just wandering around wow <laughs> Just out in the open. <laughs> no cell phone at the time, probably, right? Yeah. I don't Where's know. your coat at? By my media pass <laughs> that Jerry was wearing. I mean, I, we'd taken our coats off inside there, but I didn't have time they to say. let you get your coat. No, they're like, you got to leave right now. Like, How, they, they hauled me out. So you never gonna... had a media pass? There, there was three of us there, and we had two media passes. So mm. in, in that moment, I wasn't wearing it. <laughs> And I should have just stayed low profile, but I started wandering around. And you I, know how Brian is. He just takes over yeah, a room. Yeah, you should have said, hey, <laughs> give me your media pass. I'm going to go walk around. Yeah, I should have. Yeah. I very well should have, yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I didn't think, ah, who cares? Where's this story been all this time? Yeah. I thought I told it, to be honest with you. No, I never yeah. heard that. No, That's no. good stuff. I'm just waiting for the new year. Yeah, yeah. endless well, Brian. I was waiting for the an even year to tell it. Yeah. That's yeah. when stuff happens. <laughs> 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 Do you have a hotel? Did you walk back to the hotel or? Uh, we had a hotel, but I mean, we were at some. Right, uh, Jerry had that key too. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jerry had it all. <laughs> I think I did have a cell phone because I remember calling and saying, well, when you leave, at least bring my coat. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't walk back to the hotel. We were at some of, I mean, it was like far away. Yeah. And so how long were you outside? <laughs> I felt, I feel like I went to like, uh, there were satellite trucks there and I knew somebody that was inside, you know, running one of the satellite trucks. So I just went in there and sat in the satellite truck. He <laughs> said I got kicked out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What was the reason you were there? You were because producer. Gore Gore yeah. Gore was running for president. He was from Tennessee. It was yeah. the same weekend as the Super Bowl. The Titans were in the Super Bowl. Oh. Like probably two or three days before that. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. uh yeah, I was there as a producer, but <laughs> that <laughs> night I was just a guy roaming around <laughs> New Hampshire. <laughs> How old were you, you think? Well, it was 2000, so. Yeah. 
I was uh, 52. <laughs> <laughs> Dusty. We're having a good time. Yeah. You of all people I thought would. Well, you know, just it, le- it was left out there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm 52 now. Thank you yeah. very much. Yeah. There you oh, yes. Yeah, so you've been like 30. Yeah, mm-hmm. you're my age. Yeah. 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 That's fun. <laughs> Were you pretty nervous when they <laughs> grabbed you? I was very nervous. <laughs> yeah. Because I was embarrassed. Everyone sees it. I mean, everybody saw it. Everybody saw it. I mean, there's a ruckus, and I'm like George Costanza <laughs> getting hauled out. <laughs> You know, by two guys and yeah. whatever, and like, like you know, they're grabbing you and pulling you out of there. Uh-huh. It's almost fun, except for that you can't get back in, right? It's kind of like a cool, like, yeah, I got kicked did out. They of it, leave, but... Did they ever leave? Was it ever like, uh, we understand, but you just can't go back in? Yeah, right? that's what they yeah said. Yeah, like they're they not, they're not going to arrest me, but they're like, we ain't letting you back in. Yeah, we've already made a point. <laughs> God, would you have went back in? Which should have been like either arrest me or let me go back yeah. in. Well, they beat on the pass. <laughs> That's true, but Jerry does. <laughs> yeah. Kick Jerry out for a while. Yeah, yeah I'm, the, camera's I'm cold. Already, the camera's already in there. I mean, we don't even need Jerry. <laughs> what was the other person doing? He was reporting. Oh. He was a reporter, a photographer, and me as producer. So and you were the why, most Why could expendable. they not get three badges? It was some company that's... That we would work with like these other side affiliates, and it was this company called Conus, and I think they're even out of business now. And they just, for whatever reason, didn't get us enough media credentials. Yeah, they didn't yeah. think Gore would be the nominee at this point. That's why Brian's <laughs> yeah. going to cover yeah. that <laughs> in New Hampshire. Yeah, New Hampshire primary, which is a big deal. That's yeah, like it's yeah. one of the big ones. Yeah, yeah, Iowa and then New Hampshire. Yeah, mm. yeah. So just up there in the thick of it, man. Bush was there too, which is funny because. Ruth worked for Bush. Mm. So Would she have been there? Uh, I don't think it, that I don't we've talked about it. I don't think she was there, but yeah. it'd be funny if she heard about it. Yeah. <laughs> Three uh, towns over. Yeah, I remember that. She goes, <laughs> I was in that yeah. She could have been at that event, I guess technically. Well, not at Gore's, but she could yeah. have been like, Hey, there's a guy wandering around out there with no media pass. Can you guys check mm-hmm. that out? She reported <laughs> you to the secret service. You remember did you have uh short sleeves on underneath <laughs> the jacket or I feel like I did. I remember mean, it was very cold. Yeah. It was very cold. I could, there. I would feel, you're like it's that person, because it is. There's, there's a person that wears a coat when it's cold. When they take it off, they have short sleep because they're just gonna be. They somehow get so hot inside. Well, it was like a, you know, usually I would you have if it's real cold outside, you have long sleeve mm-hmm, both. Mm-hmm. But then you know there is people that would just have button down short sleeve shirt. I remember it was a packed event, so you're like it's gonna be very hot in there. Yeah, because they would think about stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, they would yeah. say that to themselves. The body yeah. temperature is yeah. going to make it, yeah. They would say that in the mirror. Well, it's going to be packed, so it's going to be hot. I mean, I, Aaron, I feel like you could relate with me on this. Look, I get it. You know, when I fly, it's cold going to the air. I wear a heavy jacket to the airport, and then I have a T-shirt underneath it. T-shirt and shorts so underneath t- it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So <laughs> when I get away? on the plane, I start sweating. I take it off. No, not tear away, dude. I'm not <laughs> warming up for a <laughs> JV game. Yeah. Ruth get, pointed out to me that she – well, she didn't point out, but she was the – uh, deputy chief of staff for Condoleezza Rice. The person who replaced her, Condoleezza Rice, when um, Obama took over was Hillary Clinton. And her deputy chief of staff was Huma Abedin, mm-hmm. mm, whose husband, would, which would make me Anthony Weiner. <laughs> <laughs> all right. It's all coming together. Yeah. I was Anthony Weiner before Anthony Weiner. <laughs> <laughs> so. All right. wow. you know. That's fun. Mm. All, All right. right. Um, so since we've been all together, we've had a couple of fun things. Uh, we did a surprise birthday party for Laura. Yeah. Very fun birthday party. We had the Velcro Pygmies. Uh, they're a cover band. Uh, that is kind of a hair cover band. Yeah. There's me, Bates. Yeah, and, like 80s hair metal. Yeah. We all dressed up in kind of an 80s kind of thing. And Well, not uh, everybody. Not everybody. Aaron was wearing a cardigan. And, yeah. Um, oh, I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry. Yeah, just like I'm commit. wearing a cardigan. <laughs> I'm, joking. I'm joking. I don't know if you guys talked about this at all, but you know, when we were here at the time before the party, Graham K was here and he mm. was downstairs. And like, this is a surprise party. As far as I know, it's like this is all a surprise party. And he go, he goes, he's downstairs. He goes, hey, you guys going to the party? You guys going to the party tomorrow or mm. whatever? And I'm like, I didn't know what to do. <laughs> yeah. I just I waved him off and I left the room. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I don't know what to do. Here. Yeah. 
And then I messaged him and I was like, as far as I know, this is a surprise party. And he thought that I was just got very rude with him. Yeah. And he thought I just waved him. But I was like, I don't know what to do here. Yeah. He yeah. said something about it later. He was like, <laughs> yeah. Dustin yeah. gave me a weird like <laughs> yeah. hand motion. I was just trying to make conversation with him. <laughs> I've talked to him about it later, but yeah. uh, it was uh yeah, the whole thing we uh we was at Exit Inn. Which, if you know, in Nashville is a, a kind of a is a very famous legendary uh, legendary uh, rock venue, and uh, yeah, a lot of people were there, and I mean, it was really really a fun fun uh, night. It was fun to get out and to play all the music Laura likes. Uh, it and was if you're awesome. looking at the picture, great. Brian Bates has got a long wig on. Yeah, and if you're a you know a big fan of the podcast, you might recognize that wig from the Halloween episode. Mm-hmm. Where Brian was dressed up as Dusty Slay. That's the Dusty Slay wig right there. Well, I'm going to tell you something. That wig, that changed who Brian was. Yeah. I mean, I was into long hair baits. Yeah. Oh, I was yeah. like, this guy's awesome. Too he much. Jaeger bombs Too at much. the bar. Like, no, yeah. that's not true. But <laughs> Dusty's wife was like filming me all night. Like to the point where it was awkward. Like I'd move and I would just see her moving yeah. with me. I'm like, yeah. what are y'all doing? You're you yeah. stealing the show. I mean, it, it brought you an energy that I've not seen before. Mm. Well, it was a little awkward. I was a little, you know, comics like to be funny, but we like to control it. This is a little bit out of our comfort zone. To had a real, like I mean, this, it was good. So. It was a good vibe, yeah. though. I, I want you to get it. I want you to wear a wig like that. I know. You told me multiple times that night. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, all right. Let's start with you guys. Uh, the Christmas, Christmas traditions comments. Gabriel Hernandez. Aaron needs to be canceled for never seeing Home Alone and his dislike for rocking around the Christmas tree. Oh, Amen. Amen. That song stinks. But the Home Alone came out <clears throat> a year before I was born. It's like, it, I guess I'm just supposed to have watched it later in life. I would say you should see Home should, Alone. It's great. It's very funny. Well, I'll watch rocking, it. rocking around the Christmas tree is a garbage song. Okay. Home Alone Thank is, uh, Thank you. yeah. Is, uh, what if Brenda Lee listens to this podcast? I hope, I she, hope does. she hears it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, Home Alone's super funny. Okay. I mean, it's just a great movie. I'll it's just a it fun movie. Next Christmas, good. I'll watch it. Yeah. Is there one sequel? Or There's like no, seven, there's, right? Yeah. yeah, but it's. I think there's two. Only one. Only, only two Macaulay Culkin. Okay. Yeah. And right. then after that, I don't know yeah. what happened. But but yeah, Joe Pesci. Yeah, they're um, great. Da- yeah. uh, what's his face? Daniel Stern. Daniel yeah. Stern. He's yeah. so funny in it, dude. Yeah. So funny. They're really great. Yeah. <laughs> Old Blue Arms. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Nate shaming Nick for saying pecan, pecan. <laughs> I don't know how to say it anymore. Nate shaming, shaming Nick for saying pecan different is hilarious when he pronounces Reese's Pieces as Reese's Pieces. Reese's Pieces. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, I say a lot of stuff. I'm a Reese's Pieces <laughs> pronouncer too, though. I don't. Reese's Pieces. Reese's Pieces, yeah. Yeah. I know it says pieces, but, you know. Reese's, Reese's Pieces. Reese's Pieces. But I think it's a, it's like the name Reese. It's oh, it's his, like Reese's. It's pieces. his pieces. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's Reese's pieces. It's the pieces of Reese. So it's Reese's yeah. pieces. No one would want to eat it. You? What do you want to yeah. eat? Reese's pieces. His pieces of and what? You're like, no, yeah. I don't. Know. Yeah. <laughs> if you really look at that name, that's a very weird name. It is yeah. for uh, it is. candy. It's, it's bizarre. But like, Reese's pieces sounds. It's got a flow to it. It's got a flow, and I'm not worried about like taking someone's thing. Reese's pieces. But so, like Hershey's a name too. You know, it doesn't. Hershey's that's a good name. That's not I know, but Reese because it's Reese's pieces just is like who's Reese? No one ever sees Reese. Yeah. They don't put him on the No one's ever talked about rapper. Reese. No yeah. one ever, ever we just go Reese's pieces. You think so it's we, a guy? I think it's oh yeah. Right? Reese. The only Reese they weren't naming stuff after women back then. Reese oh, Witherspoon. Reese Witherspoon, yeah. Mm. Yeah. I, th- I think it's a last name. But when you break down Hershey's Baby you get Ruth, Hershey's kisses, right? That sounds better than pieces. Yeah. Yeah. I want some Hershey Kisses. Oh, it's made by Hershey. Oh, they were created in 1928 by H.B. Reese, a former dairy farmer and shipping foreman for Hershey. Yeah. How about okay. that? How about that? I have got to the bottom so of it. So he probably mm-hmm. stole from the company. Oh, yeah. Started making that candy. Uh, Josh <laughs> Ellenberg. So there was a the Reese name, the first name. No. H.B. Yeah. Would you rather have H.B.'s pieces? <laughs> I'd like to know what HB stands for. Yeah. Harry Burnett. No. Harry's Pieces. <laughs> Harry, yeah. <laughs> I like that. I, I don't want a Harry <laughs> Cup either. <laughs> 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 uh, 
Harry Burnett Reese. How about that? Inducted posthumously into the Candy Hall of Fame. Good for him. <laughs> yeah, why don't you not give it to him a little earlier? I know. <laughs> <laughs> what were they holding on to? <laughs> they waited 50, 53 years after he died to induct him. Well, I think he needed E.T. to make anyone know Reese's Pieces oh, existed. Yeah. Wow, that helped E.T. A lot, was huh? big. But E.T. was, a, uh, but, I mean, that came out. And then I, you know, eighties. I would think he got in for the cups and not the pieces. <laughs> Did he do the cups? Oh yeah, yeah. The, yeah. I, I can see that the yeah. cups were probably, yeah. The cups is what he got in for. Mm -hmm. Maybe the pieces <laughs> just uh, kept him from getting in sooner. They were like, actually, this is hurting your legacy a bit. Well, yeah. I imagine the cup. <laughs> so the idea of the pieces was to do what, like small cups. No, just trying to do little M and pieces are yeah, it's like an M and M competitor. Yeah, yeah, but it's not even close to M and M. Well, yeah, but the the Reese's. I don't know family. if I really had Reese's pieces oh, a ton. You're missing out. They are really? the better than M and M's, in my opinion. Uh, what? Yeah, so good, so good. That's crazy. <laughs> That's I think M and M's. You like have... them more than M and M's? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I think yeah. M and M's have petroleum in it. I think <laughs> people were saying that. <laughs> Who? Who was people? saying that? There's people out there saying that. Yeah. <laughs> look that. Look up. Look, I mean, you don't have to look it up right now, but in your own time. I don't know if it's going to work on a regular computer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't have the dark web on yeah. there yet. Oh, man. I'll, I'll keep digging. Yeah. Yeah. I think yeah. you have to keep digging. <laughs> keep digging. Uh, Josh Ellenberg. While listening to the Christmas episode, Nick used the phrase, she could care less while talking about his daughter. While I love Nick. My gears began to grind after that comment. She couldn't care less would be the expression. Curious if you fellows have any expressions that get under your skin. Cheers and how's your year going? It's off to oh. a great start. Uh, no, uh, let's go is my only. Yeah. But literally, I feel like at least half the time when someone says literally, it's not literally. Mm -hmm. I don't like the expression "worse comes to worse." Oh my god, that sounds <laughs> that sounds like the worst, worst comes to worst possibly be. Uh -huh. <laughs> People go "worse comes to worse." I'll just do this. See, I like, like it. I like "worse comes to worse." Yeah, I like it because it makes me. It's like when you're about to solve when you're about to work on a problem. You, I just I will tend to go. Well, what's the worst? The worst is this. So if that's the bottom, then it's like, well, I'm, if I'm not scared of that bottom, then I, then it's, then I'll, you can give it your all. But this expression seems it's not just the worst; it's worse comes to worst. It's as worst as worst can get. I, I think it's I say worst of the worst. Or wait, worst <laughs> Diff different expression. Yeah, is it? Yeah. Is that an expression? Worst comes to worst. People, people, yeah, worst, or I'll say worst case scenario. There you go. Worst yeah. case scenario. Yeah. yeah, I heard a girl push thinking. comes to shove. That's kind of <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Push comes to show. Well, this is one of those. She could care less does not bother me. Even though if, if you really get into the weeds of it, it's not what they mean. It's it. You can use context. You know what they mean when they mean when they say it, right? It does. It doesn't bother me that much. Mm -hmm. Well, it's like that's the. Uh, yeah, it's probably the human aspect that you should learn to love to go mm -hmm. like. Yeah, that is interesting. Humans say they don't say stuff grammarly. You know, when you're reading a book or something, <laughs> it's it's that's what the book is for. There's but for uh, Nick who wrecked eight cars in a van. <laughs> he might say she could care less. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's uh, th I had an English teacher that was like, you 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 make exceptions for things. Like there's some stuff we should just carve out exceptions for. Um, the the opening of Star Trek. You remember like the opening? It's to boldly go where that's grammatically you're not supposed to put an adverb when you have an infinitive like that to go you're not you're allowed to put like too boldly go mm -hmm. but he was like we'll just allow it's star trek we'll just allow it so mm -hmm. we should just have exceptions we all thinking that right yeah mm -hmm. uh, yeah that's i was what, thinking of all the unbelievable things in this movie that's what gets me <laughs> yes, that's where, yeah they said that and i was like i'm out dude. I yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what should they have said to go boldly Oh, to go boldly where no man is. Yeah, but to boldly go just sounds better, right? Yeah. I mean, does, but does grammatically, it's not correct. And that was Star Trek? Mm-hmm. I never watched Star Trek. You're missing out. Yeah. Uh, all right. The 180s comments. Josh Stringer. I know it's Nate's podcast, so it makes sense that Brian did a year interview review for only Nate. Let's get her a review for everyone. Would also be cool to hear some goals and plans for 2024. 
Yeah, didn't you say some time? other reviews? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, I mean, I he's I did mine. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What about us, Brian? I mean, come on. Well, I mean, I didn't do it. January, I, mean, I on, got a new filter for my CPAP. Yeah. There you go. February. That's big time. We had a 20% off coupon to Long John Silver. You're replace the filter like once a week, though. You are? Yeah. We'll talk about it later. All right. just want to make sure you're breathing okay. <laughs> Have you not been, you've been keeping it in for a year? I don't know. I was just. <laughs> that's never the thing you want people to trying bring to be up, funny. Have you, like, well, have you ever changed it though? Right I've there. never changed it. Immediate. He's never changed it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he changed it once so a we, week. We stumbled. Mine was recalled, and I've never replaced it. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> you just breathe in toxic it? fumes. Every what was night? recalled? It's something about the. It's. Can you do a CPAP recall? Uh, yeah. Philips Respirionics or whatever. Well, I don't think oh. we have to get into The foam <laughs> comes off and causes cancer. Or something. That's all we wanted. I don't know if you had to read more than that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And you just thought, like, whatever. Yeah, whatever. Mm -hmm. Just living life, man. If it happens, it happens. Yeah. Worst comes to worst. I just <laughs> yeah. stop breathing. Yeah, yeah. push comes yeah. to shove, I'll die. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the right attitude to have when you get a daughter. So. <laughs> I mean, one of my goals for 2024 is to start smoking. So, oh, nice. Dude. Oh, yeah. Let's Good do it. Oh, right. Starts now. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind. Can I light up? Yeah. 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 Spark it up. Smoke them if you got them. All right. Yeah. I was at a toy store over Christmas up. and saw some of these. I'm like, I got to get some because you can't find them anywhere. Candy cigarettes? No, you got to yeah. find them at like a uh, like well, cracker like, barrel. Seems like place. you already went through a few. <laughs> now, only one. And then I saved the rest. <laughs> That used to be, dude, a candy yeah. cigarette was the thing to have. I tried to find it for the candy episode, and I couldn't. Yeah, you get but. some candy cigarette, get some uh, some of that, uh, what's the bubble gum that Big, Big, League, Big Chew? League Chew? Big yeah. Oh, dude. Yeah. Feel yeah. like a real adult. You pack these things, man. Huh? Yeah, you do got to pack them. Yeah. Oh, well. So. Maybe it's a good time to tell us about DraftKings. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of backs. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Are you talking about DraftKings? DraftKings Sportsbook? It's yeah. an official sports betting partner of the NFL playoffs, and they're bringing you an offer that'll help you make the playoffs electrifying. New customers can bet five bucks on any game and get 200 instantly in bonus bets. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now and use code NATELAND. New customers can bet just five bucks to get 200 instantly in bonus bets only on DraftKings Sportsbook with code NATELAND. The crown is yours. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER or visit www.1800gambler.net. In New York, call 877-8-HOPE-NEW-YORK or text hope ny 467369 In Connecticut, help is available for problem gambling. Call 888-789-7777 or visit ccpg.org. Please play responsibly. On behalf of Boot Hill Casino and Resort in Kansas, 21 plus age varies by jurisdiction. Void in Ontario. Bonus bets expire 168 hours after issuance. See dkng.com slash football for eligibility and deposit restrictions, terms, and responsible gaming resources. Wow. <laughs> Good job. Thanks, dude. Andy Campbell. <laughs> when Aaron was recounting his childhood injuries, I was struck by his parents' decision to go to a Chinese buffet. <laughs> <laughs> with four children on crutches. <laughs> they choose the only type of dining that absolutely requires the use of both hands. That's some tough love. Good luck, kids. We'll see you out the table. I didn't even think about that. That's, that is that crazy. Is a, I don't know how we got it. Maybe that's why they chose the buffet during that time. They're like, yeah. this guarantees a one-plate visit. Yeah. <laughs> trying to get these. Yeah. I would imagine what's, a bunch of kids, buffets, are. you just got to do it because it's going to cost you twelve hundred dollars if you go to oh yeah like a o charlie's right because you're gonna just keep doing it so you're you know and it's you know four and so and one of the linemen <laughs> yeah so and those buffets are like eight bucks and you're like oh yeah y'all just go off yeah that is man y'all just all had to you just oh <laughs> uh, can you imagine being behind y'all <laughs> on crutches yeah you see him get out of the van. You rush in that restaurant yeah, and get ahead, like, of him. get ahead of him. Yeah. Go. Go. Or you sit and wait because you know they're probably about to bring some hot stuff out. Cause <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, keep it for after. Yeah. They got to refill all this yeah, stuff. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Darren Parrish. The company I think did a complete 180 is Champion. I remember when Champion was dirt cheap 
there's an episode of Seinfeld where the guy who shaved his head got depressed due to actual baldness. He had a champion shirt on. He had a champion shirt to show he gave up on life. Now Nate ends SNL in a champion hoodie with 37138 on it. Complete 180. Yeah, that yep. is crazy. Right. Uh, good yeah, it's good. Ch- uh, yeah, champion. I think champions is cool now, right? Or right. Cabrera. And it used to be the Kmart brand, right? Wasn't yeah. it Kmart's clothing? <clears throat> Grant Warstel. You guys listed all the worst parts about video stores which, with such a positive tone. Lack of options, popular movies sold out, late fees, rewinding the tape, sounds awful. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, <clears throat> I, it, was the, probably the, it was the frustrating things, but when you look back on stuff, the frustrating is usually what makes you as a person in general. Yeah. And so that's why you look back on it with fondness because you're like, yeah, you were like, you had nothing to do versus... You should have some restriction in your life. It, it was some it stuff. was great to not ha- have unlimited options all yeah. the time. It makes you appreciate a movie better. Yeah, it was the you know when you had to go there and you had to guess what time. Like you thought about a process. Mm-hmm. You thought I mean no, you didn't have phones, so you weren't just staring in onto you know any movie mm-hmm. on earth. That's why take away, go look at Netflix. Netflix, you go sit there and you walk, oh, geez, things, you just flip in any oh. movie that's ever been made in Dude. the history of Earth, you can get to. Well, now I, now I don't watch anything because it's like, where is it going to stop? Trying to yeah. find a movie to watch with my parents over Christmas was just like, I mean, it took two hours scrolling oh, yeah. through everything. Yeah. There's too many options. Dude. Yeah. When we had six DVDs at the house, that's when right. it was easy. Let's put in one of the six. Yeah. yeah. You go to Adventure Video, the movie that you want is not there. So you're like, I guess we'll just grab this other movie. <laughs> yeah. And mm-hmm. then you go back and you watch it and you're like, this movie sucks. But you're like, <laughs> we rented it. We, we did it together it. as a yeah. family. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> Sandra Nagayan. Win. Win. You think win? Mm-hmm. Sandra win? Mm-hmm. Wow. Well, win. Uh, wow. My dad would dub every single movie we rented. Then he kept them organized with a checkout list for people who wanted to borrow them. Uh, <laughs> the video store called to tell us that we accidentally returned our dub copy of the movie instead of their tape. My sister and I spent that afternoon thinking our dad would face a $25,000 fine or five years in prison. <laughs> Instead, the video store happily gave my dad's bootleg copy back in exchange for their VHS. Yeah, I wonder if you really got that. That's very funny that I like to, you know, he did that. Would he dub it over with his own jokes or just say the line? No, no, you just, you, I think, I think put you it two on your VCRs. Own, two VCRs. And so you would just... He'd rent it, record it, and then uh, He'd rent it, play it, and then on another uh-huh. VCR be recording the movie. Yeah, that's what dub every single movie is. I think so, mm-hmm. uh, but that I think that's what she means. And I so you meant to do like a voice, like a dub over. No, she means like a bootleg. Okay, okay, I've never seen dub used like that. But that Sorry, would be, yeah, you would have like VHSs that could say like Star Wars on them, and then you're like, that's actually Spider Man. We yeah. recorded over. Yeah, Star that's Wars. my wedding. You know? yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually thought dub. Too meant what you thought, yeah. Because the the last name, and I thought maybe he was like, he was like, like way ahead in advance and like making like it was in English, and he was like, I'm gonna go ahead and make a copy <laughs> in my language, and right. then people can rent them out for me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I took it too far, but yeah. uh, <laughs> as chance Sandra is, uh, you know, from he said, uh, Atlanta. Yeah, then he kept them organized with a checkout list for people who wanted to borrow them. So I thought he had like a whole network of people that were like, like an underground we're tr- railroad. We're trying to get, <laughs> yeah. you know, we're trying to get, the, you know, a, a version of this movie in our He's language. translating movies for the Vietnamese community <laughs> yeah, 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 in their yeah, city. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, that'd be a nice thing. Yeah. Dusty, you want to tell us about Helix Sleep? I sure do. Thanks to our friends at Helix Sleep. Uh, okay, I read that in a way that uh, there's a period, not a comma. Uh, thanks to our friends at Helix Sleep. Lucky for you, they are... Uh, okay, jeez. Sorry, guys. Lucky for you, they are Helix. Is No, that's not my bad. That's Just speak from the heart. All right. Helix is offering 20% off all mattress orders and two free pillows for our listeners. I love... 
Helix mattress. I got I got a couple. I got a lot of pillows by them. Yep. I love them. Mm. It's very comfortable. Now when I go to hotels, I can't sleep because they don't have Helix. Helix Sleep is our favorite premium mattress brand with tailored mattresses based on your unique sleep preferences. The Helix lineup offers 20 unique mattresses, including a award-winning Lux collection, the new Helix Elite Collection, a mattress designed for big and tall sleepers, and even a mattress made just for kids. Take the Helix Sleep Quiz. Find your perfect mattress in under two minutes. Helix mattresses are shipped straight to your door, free of charge, with easy, no-contact delivery. Pretty easy to transport, too. I've had them mailed to my house. I've not been home. My neighbor had to get it, bring it into his house, and I had to get him to bring it over later. He's not a big, very big guy, but we were able to do it, mm -hmm. and he hated it, but... <laughs> He was able to do it. <laughs> Unlike a lot of mattress companies out there, Helix owns its own manufacturing company. Mm. Helix supports military, first responders, teachers, and students by giving them a special discount on site. They offer a 100-day, 100-night uh, trial to try out the new Helix Masters and offer a 10- to 15-year warranty. By supporting Helix, you are allowing them to support Nate Land. Helix is offering 20% off all mattress orders and two free pillows for our listeners. Go to helixsleep.com slash Nate and use code HELIXPARTNER20. This is their best offer yet, and it won't last long. With Helix, better sleep starts now. Sorry, guys. I've not read off paper in a long time. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Meaning books? <laughs> 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 well, yes. they give you an iPad, <laughs> pretend like you're watching YouTube. No, and I don't mean just the paper like that. I mean I've not read out loud. Off. Yes, out loud. It's, it's been a lot. it's been a couple of weeks. It's a lot. Yeah, yeah. Since yeah. I've it's just... been we're getting back into it from the holidays, man. I yeah. get it. Well, this week we are talking about Ohio. Ohio. I'm, I believe all three of you are performing in Ohio this month, January. Oh, oh, oh really? How about that? Yeah, yeah. I O. All right. That's the chant, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. H uh, big hand oh. motions. That's pretty annoying when people do that. Uh, all right. Well, the guy that's about to go there, I would maybe <laughs> save that for after. <laughs> I believe you would have just come back. I just come back from Columbus. But you're getting ready to go. I'm back in Toledo in February. Okay. Never about, been to Toledo. And I'm about to be in Dayton mm -hmm. on the 19th. That, what's Nate doing? Columbus and Cincinnati. Ohio State Stadium. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this uh, weekend, Columbus and Cincinnati. Yeah. yeah. Hello, yeah oh, being that's awesome. Columbus and Cincinnati. Wow. The capital and largest city, Columbus. Yeah, this is uh, Columbus yeah, this is great. Columbus, you don't think, and this is no disrespect to Columbus, but it's never talked about in the same way that Cleveland and Cincinnati are. Am I wrong about that? You're not wrong. I found it, it's more than twice the size of Cleveland, which is the second biggest city. It's not even close. It's mm -hmm. the biggest city in Ohio. But for whatever reason, I well, we talked about the reason. I think it's because of sports teams. They have, of course, Ohio State. They have a hockey team, mm -hmm. soccer. But I think about baseball, football, basketball. That's what I've always thought of. Oh, that's a big city. Okay. They don't have any of those. What yeah. do you say? Columbus is what? Is big? It's is more than twice mm -hmm. as large as the second biggest city in Ohio. Oh, really? It's not even close. Oh, it's bigger than Cincinnati and Cleveland. Yeah. I, mean, oh, I think it might be more than them combined. I think oh, it is. Wow. Now, Cleveland, I think, used to be a lot bigger and people have moved. Cleveland's decrease and Columbus is increasing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Great but zoo. They do have a great zoo. They have a great zoo. Ohio is the Buckeye State because there's a lot of Buckeye trees there. And I never knew what a Buckeye was. I thought it was a candy. Maybe named after the According tree. to this, talking about? is it a nut? Yeah, it's a nut. If you, uh, yeah. <laughs> I love how frustrated you were <laughs> that we didn't know what a Buckeye was. I think I know. Because I thought I'm it was a, a candy yeah. guy. According to this. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was being funny that because people always call me out. Uh, okay. I'm the one that writes uh, it. Okay. Then I'm like, according to this, uh, if you carry uh, one of the nuts in your pocket, legend is you'll have good luck. Oh, okay. Oh. On an even or odd year. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't say. Does not say. Did you ever carry around a, a trinket like that? Rabbit's foot? Anything like that? I always felt kind of extreme. Like, you'd always buy the rabbit's foot. Mm -hmm. And in my head, I thought, are they killing these rabbits? <laughs> <laughs> just, just for the feet? Just for, you know, it's like it's like a quarter. And yeah. you're like, all these rabbit's feet. Yeah, yeah. Did you ever put one of your keychain? I, I might have had a rabbit's foot. I think foot. I did at one point, yeah. too. <clears throat> a little horseshoe, too. I was really trying to get some luck. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You carried a little horseshoe? Yeah. A little... little. <laughs> 
Was like for a, a pony? Did it work? <laughs> I don't think it was actually ever on it. I don't think the rabbit's foot was real either. I think it's if you pulled out fake. this horseshoe you're describing, would it be a normal size horseshoe for <laughs> us? <laughs> and then, <laughs> 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 and then, you go, yeah, just a little horseshoe. Like, yeah, it's a red, that's a real horseshoe there. <laughs> no, it's a little. It's a little. <laughs> Still got a little horse foot on. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, they have the only state flag that's not a rectangle. It's a pennant. Like a... It's a confusing flag. How'd they get away with that? You feel like that's maybe the main thing, thing that a flags, flag needs to be. It's like it needs to be a rectangle. Mm-hmm. That's, that's, just, that's Ohio. Swallowtail <laughs> flag. What is that? Mm -hmm. Weak flag. Yeah, when would they... Uh... When did they do this? This flag was designed in 1901 and adopted in 1902. Before that, they did not have a legally authorized state flag. Well, maybe it wasn't all. Well, no, 1902. That was. Everybody was kind of already doing the flag thing, right? <laughs> in the 1900s? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How so many we've stars already decided on the flags. What's that? How many stars they got on there? Weird number. It has a uh, seventeen white stars. Hmm. What is that? Yeah, why seventeen? What'd you come up with, Brian? According to this, mm, I didn't come up with anything. The thirteen stars grouped around the O represent the original states of the U.S. And the four stars added to the peak of the triangle symbolize that Ohio is the seventeenth state added to the admitted to the union. Well, you could have just said that's why there's seventeen. Yeah, total because it's the seventeenth. I like Ohio. You know, when I lived in Charleston, we had the Charleston City mm -hmm. paper and they put out a paper one time. And I think I've mentioned this before, but the paper, a lot of Ohio people apparently were moving to Charleston and they had a paper and the cover said, go back to Ohio. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I just, I remember thinking Ohio must be off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then I start doing comedy everywhere in Ohio. And I'm like, it's great. Yeah, here. Ohio's yeah. great. I love Ohio. There's a lot of comedy in Ohio. Yeah. yeah. A lot of funny bones. Dude. There's yeah. like seven So funny many bones. clubs. Yeah. yeah. Why yeah. were they trying to, was they like taking over, were they causing problems in Charleston? I, not that I was aware of. I mean, the city paper, you know, it's a bit of a, uh, I don't know. I like the paper for a while. It's changed hands now, but mm -hmm. it's a bit of a ridiculous kind of local paper. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, commie, commie rag. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's just like, yeah, it's pretty ridiculous. And, uh, <laughs> Go back to uh Yeah, they never put me on the cover, I'll say that. <laughs> and uh, they did put some of my friends up there. I'm not saying my friends didn't deserve to be there, but but I did too. And uh, um, so I'm mad at them. But yeah, you were comedian of the year for what, two straight years? Yeah, I was. In and they were their, on the front paper. page of the newspaper? The cover. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Was it a magazine or? Yeah, it's like a, it's like a, the Nashville scene that we have yeah. here. Kind of the equivalent oh, okay. to that. Okay. Yeah. And they're putting y'all on the cover of it? Oh, yeah. Oh, well, not wow. me, but uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> mm. We were hot in the art scene. I mean, we had a hot scene for yeah. a while. Yeah. And I was voted, you know, best local comic for two years in a row, and I never got a cover. Yeah. It's pretty ridiculous. But uh, the entire state of Ohio got asked to leave. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Insane. Yeah. So I thought, you know, and I'd never been to Ohio, but I thought, wow, I wonder what's going on there why everyone's leaving and why we don't want them to come here. But there's so many clubs. There's funny, bon there's like, I mean, Cleveland has clubs and uh, Toledo and Dayton Cincinnati. and Cincinnati and uh, Columbus. Uh, I mean, they're all over the place. Mm -hmm. That might be it, but yeah, that's a, that's a lot. <laughs> of still a lot. That's a lot. Let me ask you this. Do you think Ohio has an accent? When you think of Ohio, can you hear a particular accent in your head? Just Midwest. It's just like a Midwestern accent, right? Yeah. Well, I had a, a roommate friend in college who's from Toledo, and he would brag to me, not brag, but he would say that Ohio, because of its location, accent-wise, it's so neutral that newscasters mm -hmm. would try to model their voices after Ohioans hmm. because there's no accent. But then I heard him talk, and I'm like, you have the thickest accent I've ever heard. You know, you've got like a thick mm -hmm. Midwestern accent. I don't know if I believe that at all. Have you heard that before, being in news? I have. I mean, most of the broadcasters do come from the Midwest because it's centrally located, so it doesn't get too strong uh -huh. any direction. Mm, I'm I, buy it. Yeah, I mean, I feel like 
Uh, I feel like I can see that. I feel like, you know, real Southern Ohio, you're like practically Kentucky. So you could have a Southern accent. Mm -hmm. Real Northern Ohio, aren't you right near Mich Michigan? So you yeah, could, you're up there. So if you're in Toledo, yeah. you could really have a Michigan accent. And Michigan for sure has an accent. Well, do you Ohio. care? Ohio. Isn't it like that? Ohio. He's an old oh, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like a little bit of that. So yeah, like a little, yeah. Brown paper bag. That kind, of thing. Yeah, that kind of stuff. Brown paper bag. There's a little bit of that. Now, I was going to ask, do you care? That sounds like Wisconsin. Yeah, that's what it all bag. It all it blurs all, together yeah, yeah, up yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Do you, I <clears> personally <throat> would not care if a newscaster or anybody had an accent. I don't think I'd trust anybody more or less based on an accent. I, I feel you would. I think so. What's the accent you trust the most? A southern accent like yours? <laughs> Seriously, though. No, I think just neutral i wish that newscasters really? where they're at in the country had an accent that represented yeah. it yeah you want like mm. a, if i'm watching the nashville news maybe i want somebody who sounds like they're from nashville a, a lot of yeehaws well, we got a <laughs> we got tornado watch <laughs> tornado everybody watch. everybody <clears throat> serious stuff right now we got tornado yeah. watch a whipping <clears throat> a rope over there on the you know over on the highway <laughs> tornado we got tornado watch yeah <laughs> you're like i mean you would you want to hear that tornado that's what i'm saying tornado warning i mean no was there's a tornado <laughs> warning coming out right now and they're like i don't know if this guy is yeah, i don't serious. know if i trust him but i'm guessing if you're a new yorker you want like a new guy who sounds like he's from new york you don't want a guy who sounds like he's has no personality at all i'm from the south i mean I, that's true yeah but, but the, new york you want a new york sounding guy new york a real attitude about the news especially that's what i'd like because the local news i mean you're the expert here but mm -hmm. in when you disagree but i'm saying there's so much national news social media i feel like if i want local news i want it to be because it's like relevant to to me it's authentic these people live where i live so why not have a Southern accent? Why do I care if they have a neutral accent? I'm trying to. Maybe just, I mean, even when I hear, I have a Southern accent, when I hear other Southerners interview on the news, I'm like, God, they sound so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> do you really? Sometimes. You have that bias. Where do you think that comes from? Just movies and stuff? A lot stuff? of self-hate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, well, that's, yeah. yeah that's a lot it. of self-hatred. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Uh, but I do. I, we talked about Tom Brokaw was from South Dakota. Yeah. I can't remember where the other Peter Jennings and all those guys were from, okay. but I think they are usually from the Midwest. In Columbus, 50% of the country lives within 500 miles of Columbus. Oh, wow. 50%. So that's a good place to live to do comedy. Yeah. Yeah, it's a pretty good. If you're driving. 50% of the country lives in what? 50% of the U.S. population lives within 500 mile radius of <coughs> Columbus, Ohio. Oh, wow. 500 is pretty far, though. I was going to say that. Yeah, it's like an eight hour drive. Yeah, what's the going across country? 3,000? Yeah, almost 3,000. Yeah. You have like LA to New York. Yeah. All right. So yeah. that's a worthless stat. What else? All right. <laughs> um, yeah, that's, I feel like everybody can say that. Every, every, every state we do, we go, you know, 50% of the country lives within a 500 mile radius of this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Do we have it? I mean, would Tennessee be almost We'd probably there? be pretty close. Nashville yeah. is very centrally located. That's why it is a good hub for traveling comics. Yeah. Dr especially if you're driving. It's really good. Yeah, that's why the tour bus is all here. That's yeah. I, I always heard that's why country music was so big here. Because all the singers and all the buses, and everything would live here. 50% 50 50 of the U.S. population live within 600 miles of Nashville. All right, so That's right, Columbus is a little better, though. Yeah, Columbus is a Columbus little, is little, bit. little bit. It's worth mentioning. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> if it's 500 miles or less, I'm going to mention it. Uh, it's the birthplace of aviation because the Wright brothers were from Dayton. Yeah, but yeah. then they went to North Carolina. Mm -hmm. They did it somewhere else. Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. That's why they're first in flight. Now, why did they leave Ohio to do it? Did Ohio, they weren't, they weren't open to the idea of flight. They had to go somewhere else. I don't know. To do it. How did they get there? <laughs> i don't know but i know how they got home <laughs> they landed in dayton <laughs> sorry suckers did they <laughs> no i don't know oh. probably not <laughs> i but feel I mean, like it was probably because of the you need to be near the water the ocean the more flat or something yeah uh north carolina is not really known for being too flat though huh the coast yeah. would be i guess so I went out there, the Outer Banks. I saw some Wright Brothers stuff. There's a club out there, right? At one point, there was a club called uh, the Comedy Club of the Outer Banks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, I don't know if it's still there. I don't. I don't want to say they've closed, but eight presents have come from Ohio. Mm. It's called the Mother of Presents. That, Taff. That in Virginia. How'd you know that? I don't know. He feels like he came from Ohio. <laughs> he did. Uh, was, yeah. What do you know about Taff? He's the, Nothing. He's just the fattest the, guy. Ever. Yeah, yeah. Just I picture Ohio. <laughs> like I just. It just felt. I don't know why. I'm not even saying because he's fat. I just Taft felt to me like he came from Ohio. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, he looks like an Ohioan for sure. Yeah, that guy's got a Browns jersey on somewhere if he lived now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who else came from? They're all like nobody recently. William Henry Harrison, Ulysses S. Grant, Rutherford B. Hayes, James Garfield, Benjamin Harrison, William McKinley, Taft, Warren G. Harding. Mm. So that's the most presidents, but probably the lamest lineup of presidents a state could have. I think Virginia also has eight, and they're also call themselves the mother of presidents. But they've got some movers and shakers. They got big. They got Jefferson. Why not father? George Why not Washington? call themselves the father of presidents? If, you're, if there's already a mother of presidents. That's a good question. Because I think the mother, the metaphor is they're birthing. They're yeah. giving oh, yeah, yeah. birth to. Yeah, yeah that's, a dumb, that's a dumb point. Kind of the father's making it happen, too, though. Right? <laughs> it takes two yeah. to tango. Yeah. That's for sure. Yeah, I don't come know. on. Now, my favorite is William Henry Harrison. I think I told this story in the President's episode, but Dusty wasn't here. He gave the longest inauguration speech of any president, nearly two hours. Kind of like you at theaters. Oh my <laughs> yeah. God, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it was raining and cold and raining. He didn't wear a coat or a hat because he wanted to show people he was tough. He got pneumonia and died a month later. Shortest term as president. 31 days, 32 days or something? Yeah. A month. I mean, yeah. yeah. I pneumonia. love a guy that'll... Prove a point, though. You know what I mean? He's like, you know what? I don't care. <laughs> Even on his deathbed, he was like, I'd still be talking if I, if they would let me. Well, they were, pneumonia was such a killer back then. You think they would take it a lot more serious? Yeah. They were trying bloodletting. Leeches. Uh, they didn't mention leeching. Suction cups and Native American remedies involving snakes. Oh, they were throwing the kitchen sink. Yeah. When, what year was this? <laughs> Sounds like they were killing this guy. I think it was. Let his blood out. Bring the snakes Late in. 1700s or early 1800s. William Henry Harrison. Yeah, this was. Was that who we're talking about? Yeah. 1841. This is pre Civil War. Yeah. So we didn't have anything, dude. We didn't, yeah. we didn't even know to wash our hands after stuff. I do like that this guy was like, I'm, I'm running on being tough. And I'm going <laughs> to show you that I'm tough. And he, I, I still believe he was tough. I mean, that's it, but if you really think back, uh, it's the equivalent of seeing someone in the stands with no shirt on at a Browns game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, you know, it's that same, like, eh, look how tough these guys are. Yeah. And I it, but that, no one really thinks that. You just think, what an idiot. Shirt on. Yeah, come on, dude. I You're think, not impressing us. I yeah. think they're tough. You do. Yeah. You're like when the offensive linemen don't wear sleeves. Yeah. That's like the unspoken rule for mm -hmm. a lineman. No Have you ever, like, painting your chest at a Sporting no, event or I'm never taking here. my shirt off in public. <laughs> <laughs> Just double check. Yeah, I'll put a sweater on in the pool. He's two of the letters. They <laughs> 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 go, Aaron, we don't know how to phrase this question, yeah. but <laughs> You mind being the T and the H. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or go Irish. I'm just go. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame's in Cleveland. Yeah. yeah. Fun. Three, of us, three of us went. Yeah. yeah. You been, Dustin? Yeah. Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. You have no interest in checking that out? No. Nah, you like I, rock I and roll? Yeah, I'd check it out. Yeah. I've been twice. That's a cool building. Yeah. Yeah. I'd check it out. Yeah. What? <laughs> we talked about it, though, I think. Yeah, you just got me to tell it in the green room of Zany's, that story. Yeah, we were talking about it recently. So the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame is a pyramid with multiple floors. Okay. And I went and did not realize this. So I spent all day on the first floor. <laughs> and not, then... Which is not much. Well, it's I mean... It's like the gift shop. It's mostly <laughs> the gift shop. Yeah. yeah. Then they make an announcement, we're closing in 10 minutes... And I see people coming downstairs. I'm like, what What are they doing up there? And there's like six other floors. <laughs> yeah. that wow. I, and I just try to go through them in 10 minutes. Wow. Yeah. That like, was. You ran through the museum. Yeah. <laughs> just to see everything. Yeah. I mean, you, you would think that you would need to know a little bit about music, you know, and you'd be like, uh, they're not really highlighting a lot of rock and roll bands down here. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And I don't know. Maybe you're not well versed in it. Maybe you are. I don't know. I'm not. Yeah. Yeah. I went if to, he can't figure out <laughs> that there's other floors, I don't imagine 
he knows all the bands. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. I don't. I think he would have known as much as he, whether he went up there or not. <laughs> it was the I same experience. I would have totally enjoyed it if they'd hadn't told me. Like if I'd have never known, I'm like, oh, that's pretty good. You'd have left yeah. it. It was all right. Yeah. 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 So it's a pyramid, huh? Yeah. It's, it's like, like the a one cone. in Memphis. Yeah. Yeah. Is it a pyramid? Like, no, kind of. Kinda, a, yeah. 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 It is more. It's a little more of a cone. Yeah. But yeah. it. This was 1997. I went to the World Series, the Indians and the Marlins. Oh, uh, why'd you go up there? Uh, me and my buddy just like, hey, let's yeah. go to the World Series. So we just drove up there and oh, went. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a pyramid. Yeah, but imagine yeah. walking into that building and <laughs> it's all on one floor, huh? Or at least, the bo- at least I was on the biggest floor. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, Pro Football Hall of Fame, also you're in not, Ohio. You, don't, you, you haven't even given your ticket yet. <laughs> like you're, just, you're, you're just walking around. And then you're finally like, what those people go? So they go, sir, can you have your ticket? You're like, I'm not even in the, like, the lobby area. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're like, let's get ready to leave. I, didn't even get in. I saw it for free. Yeah. Yeah, I would like that. I mean, at the Country Music Hall of Fame here in Nashville is really great. I love that. I like a, I like a real music history museum. Well, there's a lot yeah. of crossover rock and roll and country, yeah. you know? Yeah. Yeah. So you can check it out. Yeah. You look like one of the things they put behind the glass. At the country music hall oh, yeah. oh yeah <laughs> just, okay. oh yeah they just show you you're the mannequin that's right <laughs> like oh my god one of the mannequins yeah. became real <laughs> and just you walking around hey hey now that's well, right you were in the country music hall of fame i was in there yeah you know i was um on the show i guess the first show that they called it the show that never happened at the Opry when COVID shut down or COVID shut the Opry down. I was on that lineup. Yeah. So that lineup was hanging in the uh, country music hall of fame. I don't know if it still is, but it was in there. Mm. I mean, you were part of a, a moment in country music history. Yeah. It's pretty crazy. Yeah. Yeah. It's neat. Yeah. Uh, Pro football hall of fame. Also in Ohio and Canton. Mm -hmm. That's where anybody been. No, but those are two pretty big things for Ohio to have. Ohio's got a lot of stuff. Those are two pretty big Hall of Fames. Yep. You could say they're like the mother of Hall of Fames. <laughs> yeah. First official professional football game in Ohio. That's why it's there in Canton. Dayton Triangles uh-huh. versus the Columbus Panhandles. Triangles? <laughs> Panhandles. How about that? Yeah. Yeah. Dayton Triangles. Columbus Panhandles. They named it after the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Panhandlers? <laughs> <laughs> that's what i thought what was it panhandlers panhandles but i guess oh, maybe panhandles. panhandles yeah <laughs> like what is a panhandle just the handle of a florida panhandle? it's florida oh no it's columbus panhandles columbus ohio yeah columbus what? panhandle like literally like the handle of a pan that's what they named the team after i don't know but you want know to tell us about electric e-bikes <laughs> look up that <laughs> as i tell you about yeah. electric e-bike we love the electric e-bike, and all of you will too. Uh, we it's awesome. It's fun to ride around. Uh, we will take it on the bus to scoot around, scoot around town. It's just very easy to ride. Uh, go to electricebikes.com to learn more about the wide selection of e-bikes that start from that started just seven ninety nine with the seven hundred ninety nine with the XP Light. Uh, electric has a quality featured filled models. Financed as low as forty nine per month. There's, I mean, they're just super fun. You just charge them. You can ride around. I mean, if you live in a neighborhood, it's just super easy to do. Uh, I mean, if you live in a city where you don't have a bike, I think this is how you're going to get around. Is all this stuff? That you bike, you can save on transportation costs like gas, parking, and maintenance. They cost way less than the competition and are foldable, ship free, and come fully assembled. Explore 2024 with electric e-bikes, the most accessible, adventurous e-bikes ever. Visit electricebikes.com to learn more and be sure to mention that Nate Land sent you in the post-checkout survey. That is L-E-C-T-R-I-C ebikes.com. So the origin of the name Panhandles was the Pennsylvania Railroad uh, route from Pittsburgh to Columbus. That was called the Panhandle Division. 
So. Is it kind of funny that the first names, you know, now you got to change names because they're offensive. And yeah. the first ones were like the least offensive. <laughs> the triangles. The triangles. <laughs> and then the panhandle was just a route, I guess. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> and then they, then they, and it's funny, then they changed and they're the ones that they've had because the Indians and is that it? Yeah. Yeah. And the, what are they now? Red the Kings. Guardians? The Guardians. Yeah. yeah bad. It's a bad name too. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then Redskins and uh, Commanders now. Yeah, there's been a few. Let's but he means in Ohio, the, right? Uh, I thought you just meant because they're yeah, in, Ohio. in Ohio. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ohio. Let's go back to the triangles. Yeah. Let's do, yeah, the Cleveland triangles. <laughs> Let's get it going. <laughs> um, it only lasted 25 years. It's a long time. Yeah. You know, you look back, you're like, oh, barely made it. Then you're like, oh, there's people... There's probably still, you know, some people alive that were like, man, I was a big triangle fan. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and everybody's like, what? <laughs> Triangles. Let's do all shapes. Mm. Yeah, the Dayton Triangles. No. I mean, their logo is, it's just a, it's a triangle. Yeah. Why would they be the triangles? It was something like Triangle a, Park. Yeah. Oh. The, the nickname of their home field, Triangle Park. Which is located at the confluence of the Great Miami and Stillwater Rivers in North Dayton. So yeah, I mean they didn't. The reasons for these names are not not exciting, Mm-mm. but they make sense. Yeah, they're all yeah. There's like a real you're like oh okay. Oh, they yeah. put a lot of thought into it. I mean you couldn't go anywhere back Lamp. then, so I think it was, <laughs> you know. It's like I love lamp. Yeah, yeah. You're just naming yeah. things yeah. you see. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, with the Nashville tables. Yeah, we <laughs> named it that because you know we were coming up with names. We were sitting at a table <laughs> and we were like, you know what, this is where it all started. <laughs> Dayton was probably gonna be. We were like, we're they're they're a big town. Yeah, and then it's still a big town, but they're not. You know, you don't think of Dayton. Dayton Flyers though. I uh, don't think Dayton is one of the biggest cities. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. When I was doing my research for this, you and Dusty both posted a on the road at the Dayton Air Museum video. Oh, really? I was with you on yours. Yeah. I think it's might have been the first one. Yeah, you put out, and y'all both say in yours. I can go through a museum pretty fast because I don't read. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> y'all both said. Yeah, yeah. Dusty said, "I just get everything off of YouTube." Yeah. yeah, I mean, there's no need to, when you go to a museum and people are just stopping at every uh, little yeah. thing, it's like, what do you, it's Trying all, to take it all in. It's all lies. Just move through here. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Just, just look just at the picture. Yeah. Yeah, it, yeah, you're just there because you just want to be inside a building for a little bit. Yeah, you know. Because it's like, cold outside. Yeah, and there's airplanes. I'm like, yeah. I love to look at an airplane. Yeah. You know? And I can't go to a museum with Lucy anymore. She reads everything oh, yeah. and i went with her family to the world war ii museum in new orleans and they read every and i yeah. finished i just i split up like i can't yeah <clears throat> so i finished and i'm in the lobby and i called lucy and i go where are y'all and she's like we, we're at pearl harbor <laughs> and i was like i mean i'm done with the war yeah i'm in the lobby yeah <laughs> it was like another two hours before they finished you can't I, yeah i blazed through it too yeah. what'd you do just go eat i just <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't mean that like that, but it came off very. I really did. Probably. I, in my head, yeah, I probably did. In my head, I'm just trying to think, well, what would you go do? Yeah. You're like, yeah, we'll just go to a restaurant. I'm going to go hang out, eat somewhere. <laughs> you go. Yeah, I mean, you got a dab at the concession stand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can we leave this open? They go, sir, we don't really work. It's a, it doesn't really work like that at the concession stand. <laughs> uh the ohio Ohio state university third largest in the country over Mm -hmm. sixty thousand students huge man third winningest football team in college football history can you name the other two yeah uh no i can't yeah i guess in alabama no michigan michigan and alabama yeah no notre dame's up notre dame had some vacated but they're i mean look they're at the top yeah uh what do you just vacate a win and pretend it didn't happen it happened. Dude. They'd love to try to do that. It though. happened. Yeah. It ha- I was there. The last time Ohio State lost to Notre Dame was 1936. That's embarrassing. Really? Yeah. MTSU ever play? Uh, no. So we've, <laughs> we've never lost. Wait, Ohio State, really? Yeah. I mean, well, they just you don't play them very often. Dominate Notre Dame. played like three times in my lifetime. 
in yeah since 1936. Yeah. So what have y'all played like 12 times? Y'all have lost every time? I don't think it's has it been 12 times. I don't know. It's 1936. You don't you don't bring up any other details about this stat. <laughs> you just throwing that out there. That's a tough stat. <laughs> yeah, because I mean, yeah, he did take the time to write that stat down to bring it up to you. Mm-hmm. Up. Yeah, this is oh, it's struggling. <laughs> oh, we've only played uh, yeah, like eight times. Now That's that, not that, a lot of times. That doesn't have this season on there. Okay, we played nine times. <laughs> nine times. That's yeah. I guess y'all don't play a lot. That's a shockingly low. The two amount of time. Fiesta mm-hmm. Bowls, different conferences. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> but I'll be honest with you, these games, the last close game. <laughs> well, I mean, seven. This to year two. was close. This year was close. Seven to two. That's how different football was in yeah. 1936. Seven to two, and you know the headline was like barn burner in South Bend. <laughs> seven to two is such a crazy, boring game. Yeah, I don't even. Yeah. I mean, this year. So a safety and a touchdown. One touchdown. Or maybe two field goals and a safety. You never know. Or well, a one. Yeah. It's a seven. One field so goal. Two, have, maybe a one two point, safety. One point safety. Uh, anybody wonder why they're called the Ohio State University? Mm. Uh, just like arrogance and. Mm-hmm. A lot of <laughs> universities, I feel like, are like that, aren't they? Well, they're, they are particular about it. Oh, the okay. Ohio State. Yeah. The Ohio State. Why is it? it? I guess because it was multiple. To distinguish themselves from Oregon State University and Oklahoma State University, OSU. Oh, yeah. So, but still, if you're saying Ohio State University, it yeah. seems like you should still leave the the You off. go the OSU. <laughs> yeah, that which I've never it. heard. Yeah. They the have, OSU. Ohio has an official state rock song, which is played at every Ohio State game. And I think most Ohio sporting events. Hang on, Sloopy. Hang Sloopy, on. Sloopy, hang, hang on. on. Hang on, on Sloopy. Sloopy, hang on. Is that really what it is? Yeah. So. You don't know that song? No. <laughs> Come We're going to go through that. You don't know. Hang on. Originally called hang My Girl Sloopy. On Sloopy. 1964 Sloopy, song. You don't know Slo- Hang on Sloopy? No. I know the inspiration of the song was Dorothy Sloop. You would know this song. I don't know how you don't know it from just us doing that. No, yeah. I've never. Well, hey. give me some love. Give me, give me some love. The last time we did this, I mean, yeah, you, yeah. I mean, the, I know that. Give me some love and song. Yeah, yeah the, the worst singing it that I've ever heard somebody sing about? a song. Hang That's perfect. On, I would have bet my life that I'd I never heard Sloopy that song. Though. Okay. Okay. That okay was, you got that yeah, one good? Yeah, okay. We, I'll look yeah, it up later. I mean, yeah. Me and Nate just harmonized on it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sloopy. Sloopy. Hang on. I thought it was Snoopy. So I'm learning stuff. <laughs> the, educational podcast. The B side of the single is Daddy Woo Woo. <laughs> you don't know that one? Not no. As, not as much of it. Yet. <laughs> Daddy Woo Woo. Daddy Woo Woo. Hang on, Sloopy. Daddy Woo Woo. <laughs> Daddy Woo Woo's coming, Sloop. Sloop. What is Sloopy? <laughs> <laughs> Sloopy is a Dorothy Sloop, oh. a jazz singer from Steubenville, Ohio. The song was about her. My girl Sloopy. I bet I bet you didn't win her over by calling her Sloopy. <laughs> What's her name? Uh, Sloop. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She's, it's Dorothy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> hang on, You're Dorothy. Like, oh, shut up, Sloopy. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, <laughs> Sloopy. And they're like, yeah, it seems like a mean bully song. Yeah. 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 Hang on, Sloopy, Sloopy. Hang on. Like, Dorothy. You know what it sounds like? You know, what's the thing where like half your face kind of droops off to the side? Bell's palsy? Bell's. It sounds like you're calling somebody with Bell's palsy. <laughs> sloopy. Hey, Sloopy. Good yeah. Right. That's what it sounds like. Yeah. You think a lot of people yelled at it? People oh, I, Bell's palsy? I will now. Yeah, <laughs> you just shout out Bell Palsy people. Sloop Dog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, did you know Shawshank Redemption was shot in Columbus? Mm, yeah. Outside of Columbus. Outside, Mansfield, I'm sorry. Ohio. I'm sorry, Mansfield. Ohio State Reformatory. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I saw the outside of it one time. It's pretty fun. It's right next to an actual prison. You did the tour. I did the tour. It used to be a big prison. Now it's shut down. Now it's just for tours about the movie and it's like a ghost tour place too so you can do Hmm. that but you can see a modern prison right next to it so it's kind of weird to be in this old school prison and you know they're actual prisoners Mm -hmm. a few hundred yards away but it's very cool do you think they let them come over and be part of the haunted house (laughs) (laughs) you know like good behavior ones yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. you can scare some kids if you Uh, if you're good uh a couple of 
big fast food chain started in Ohio. Wendy's, Wendy's, mm. and Arby's. Both yeah. solid chains. Wendy's is Columbus, I believe. Mm -hmm. And Arby's is Boardman, Ohio. That's tough. That's a tough one. You get bored, <laughs> you create a fast Arby's. food place. I'm thinking yeah. Arby's. Boredom is what? What's they saying about uh, boredom and invention? You know what I'm talking about? Well, I think you got to be bored to invent. And worst comes to worst, you'll invent something. Oh, necessity. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> necessity is the mother of invention. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah. Not yeah. boredom. Yeah. Uh, in 26, <laughs> 2016, the Columbus Airport was renamed the John Glenn International Airport. You know John Glenn? I don't know John Glenn. Is he a role model for you? <laughs> well, he's a little bit like Chuck Yeager. He, yeah. He, he did some Oldest stuff. man to ever be in space. That's right. I don't know. Oh, yeah. And he was the uh, first U.S. astronaut to orbit the Earth. Do you know he was up there? <laughs> <laughs> he's that old. He is yeah. <laughs> Where are they we? just stick him in a shuttle. Because <laughs> <laughs> Where are the cameras? <laughs> 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 no, I guess that means uh, Captain Kirk, uh, William Shatner. Yeah. They don't count that one. Uh, right, right. He... Uh, um, we watched John Glenn take off in school. I remember that, like first or second grade. Nineteen ninety eight. Nineteen ninety eight. Yeah, it was yeah, first or second grade. Crazy. You were in first second grade in nineteen ninety eight. Yeah, it was six or seven. I was speaking to a school that day as a representative of News Channel Five. Were you really? Yeah, wow. yeah, yeah. I and remember. Then, then got, was it his school? <laughs> What were you speaking about? My alma mater. They asked me to come talk about the news business. Your alma mater of your high school? Your elementary school? Elementary, yeah. yeah. One room school alma mater for your No, elementary. I'm just saying. <laughs> alma mater <for> your <laughs> elementary school. <laughs> Can you not? Graduated summa cum laude. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I say my mm -hmm. alma mater. My only alma mater is my high school. Right. And I, I, I think it's kind of fun to say it. I don't think I would. I think it's fun to say your elementary school. If I went to it DuPont Elementary, I don't think I'm going, I'm back to my alma mater. <laughs> DuPont alumnus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're all the mother. I guess I have more imagination. You guys, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, just talking to the kids about that day you were talking. To yeah, about I remember what? being at that school, mm -hmm. just the news business. But I remember that was the day that John Glenn. You're like, guys, space. bring your credentials mm -hmm. all the yeah. <laughs> Bring. Was this before Al Gore? Uh, incident before. Yeah, because Al Gore was 2000, pre 9 11. Have you ever thought about? I'm sure you have it. Uh, I was in Volunteer State Community College, so I was probably over by you, right? Were you on Harrisonville or something? Well, I was in Alabama. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. The Columbus Blue Jackets, why they're, called, why they're called the Blue Jackets? No. I think I always thought it was like a hornet or something, like the Yellow Jackets. Mm -hmm. Jackets are blue. Um, they sent the most soldiers to the Union Army during the Civil War. Oh, oh nice. But there's no gray jackets in the South. Well, Interesting. That'd be a good name. The gray jackets. Probably look. They people probably look down. It'd be, on a, it'd be, yeah. be yeah. a tough mask. I mean, they did. They did lose. So <laughs> yeah. probably not what you want. Yeah. <laughs> Your day is full of to dos, responsibilities, and balancing work with spending quality time with loved ones while finding time for yourself. With everything you have on your plate, earning your degree online seems impossible. But at Grand Canyon University, they specialize in helping you fit your bachelor's, master's, or uh, doctoral degree into your busy day. GCU is an affordable private Christian university based in uh, beautiful Phoenix, Arizona. I've been there a bunch. Offering 330 academic programs with over 270 available online as of June 2023. From scholarships to academic support, your GCU graduation team, led by your own university counselor, provides you with the personal support you need GCU's online program gives you freedom to earn your degree in the time you can from wherever you are. Your personalized plan and team can help you achieve your goals. Find your purpose at Grand Canyon University, private, Christian, affordable. Visit gcu.edu. Uh, some TV shows shot in Ohio. There's a few famous ones that have shot in Ohio or take place I'm sorry, in Ohio. Take place in Ohio. Okay. Take place in Ohio. Um, can you name me? Leave it to Beaver. Sorry. Leave it to Beaver? Is that it? I'm guessing. I, I, I'm just taking guesses. I don't know. That's a good, no. good guess. Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't know, but that's not on my list. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. It's okay. Relax, dude. It's all good. <laughs> well, y'all kept looking at me for an answer. <laughs> it's going to be okay. Dude. 
Um, I can't think of any. Keep going. Yeah, what do we got? Uh, okay, yeah, all right. All right. Um, WKRP in Cincinnati. Okay. That's probably before y'all's time. Okay, but yeah, I've heard big, of it. Big for me. Hot in Cleveland. That's more recent. Okay, yeah. Those have... <laughs> <laughs> on TV land, yeah. Well, Benny White, it was a <laughs> yeah. good show. Uh, the Drew Carey show, oh, yeah. Cleveland okay. Rocks was their oh, theme song. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That. yeah, that was a good one. I love that show. Yeah, okay, all right. Let's get to some famous people from Ohio. Um, these are either born there or live there 21 Pilots, Dave Grohl, Patricia Eaton. Yeah, Dave, where was I at? Where Dave Grohl's from. He's from You're Saturday Night Live. He's from it together. Yeah. Warren, Ohio. <laughs> uh, no, but I was in a town where I because I said New York's. <laughs> no, no, no. Where did I uh, meet Dave? No, Grohl? I would say Dave Grohl's from a town. I was saying it as a joke on stage. <clears throat> I would, like I was in Peoria and I was like, Dave Grohl. I go, he's from here. And I would tell the t- the city that, and they cheer. Well, they'd be like, oh, <laughs> like from, no one knew. <laughs> he's from Warren, Ohio, Warren. and they have the the world's largest drumsticks there in Dave Grohl Alley mm. to honor him. Oh, yep, it's pretty fun. World's largest drumsticks, huh? Yeah, it's a c- kind of cool story. I think it's a small town. Not a lot happens there, and then he makes it big. And some guy said we should take this dingy old alley mm-hmm. and make it something great and show that you can accomplish great things so they named it mm. dave Grohl alley and um that's cool so 21 pilots dave Grohl, patricia Eaton, jason day <laughs> dave chappelle <laughs> i'm naming everyone that you actually know yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. josh need uh <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh there are a few others uh, i don't really know chappelle i mean I met you've him. met him but uh that wasn't the f- i mean those are all famous people yeah, but yeah. i'm like wow nate knows every one of these i'm just josh gonna- needs great yeah very funny mm-hmm yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm not saying that you you were saying I wasn't making fun of him. But I yeah. just you brought him up, and I had not thought about Josh in a while. Very funny guy. Yeah. All right. Who do you guys really think was the most famous person from Ohio? Yeah, I have the mm. list pulled up, so I can't, I can't uh, answer I know, this but, honestly. Uh, Bone Thugs and Harmony. Oh yeah, they're from Cleveland. Okay. Yeah. Uh, That's pretty famous. I mean, outside of a president or like Taft, yeah. is it fun or is it not fun? Well, I mean, it's an opinion. <clears> but Jim I, Brown. Is he, where's he from? Well, he played for the Browns. I don't know if he grew up there, but yeah. There's one that you're probably sports wise. Oh, Le- LeBron James. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah LeBron. Yeah. That's right. Now, what I did not know is Steph Curry, also from Akron. Oh, really? Did you know that? No. I had no idea. He, that's never talked about. There's a list of famous people from. Well, Ohio. he was probably there very briefly. Probably. And he I also grew up the son of the uh, NBA. Oh, player, these people right? are all, that's a lot of people from Ohio. Steve Harvey. Machine Gun Kelly. Katie Holmes. Halle Berry. Steve, Steve Harvey's Harvey. my favorite. You Travis could argue, Kelsey. dude, the Paul brothers being from Ohio, they're so yeah. big. Woody Harrelson. Paul. Now, Woody Harrelson grew up in Texas, so. Marilyn Manson. But I guess he was born there. Sarah Jessica Parker. Wow. There's a lot of people. Oh, I always got a lot of people. Neil Armstrong's not on there, but. Oh, my gosh. Tanner Buchanan. I don't Who's know. I have no idea. Who's that on this list? To me, Steve Harvey is my favorite off this list. From Ohio? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's great. All time great. Yeah. So who are the three biggest actors on West Wing? No, oh, Martin Sheen, probably Allison Janney, Bradley Whitford. And Rob Lowe? Rob Lowe, but he left the show. Yeah, yeah. But Rob Lowe was the star when it started. So Martin Sheen, Allison Janney, Rob Lowe all grew up in Dayton. Oh, did they really? Yeah. That's oh, kind of cool, man. right? That is yeah. that's very cool. Oh, I know. It's, it's happening. It's yeah. kind of killing it, dude. Yeah, yeah. It's doing great. Uh, I mean, we can wrap it up. Let's yeah. see here. Uh, Third Rock from the Sun, Family Ties, also yeah. set in Ohio. Yeah. So Great shows. Uh, some good amusement parks there, Kings Island. We go to Kings Island all the time. Yeah. The Beast. They had the longest wooden roller coaster at the time. That's in, outside Cincinnati, mm-hmm. right? And what's the big one? Cedar Point. Cedar, Cedar Point. I've never been to Cedar yeah, Point, but that had the one that's the craziest. They had the craziest roller coasters. Yeah. Oh, uh, the Toledo Mud Hens. So on MASH, Maxwell Klinger. Yeah. Uh, on Mash, always he was from Toledo. He always mentioned the Mud Hens, his favorite baseball team. So um, Toledo Mud Hens. I think our friend Doug Bockler. Yeah, yeah. 
gave, I think he sent it through you, this mm-hmm. hat and shirt. Mm-hmm. But when we were in Toledo, we did shows together. And there's a Jamie Farr has a restaurant there. And mm. uh, Mud Hens are probably one of the more famous minor league baseball teams. Right, would, because of that. Yeah. Because of, because of MASH. I mean, that's got to be. I uh, guess. I've, a, I've always heard of the Toledo Mud Hens. You know how many people watch the finale to MASH, dude? A lot. Yeah. A lot. A lot. <laughs> Seven billion people, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a lot of people did. A lot of people, man. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Oh, oh, Big Bear stores. Did you ever go there? No. That's a Big Bear. Grocery store chain. Big Bear? Big Bear, yeah. That's like their Piggly Wiggly. I think they've since closed, but Big Bear was pretty big. Oh, you know, when I was in Liberty, Ohio, the Liberty Township, I went to a Cabela's and I found a bear uh, sign that said, Hey Bear on it. Did oh, really? It? Yeah. I took a picture of it, but it's this was a while back. You might want to move on. And you didn't it. buy it? I didn't buy it. No. We didn't. Uh, we didn't really talk about s- sports much, but <laughs> the big red machine was dominant in the seventies for the Cincinnati Reds. Reds yeah. I mean, Pete Rose, Johnny Bench, yeah, those guys mm-hmm. were the team of the decade in baseball. Right. Uh, they've fallen on some hard times lately. Yeah, the Reds have. Things are looking up for them though. They got some young stars. Look at that. It says, hey, Bear, and he's waving, oh. and the guy's waving. Yeah. I mean, this, Let me see that. I feel like, like they completely ripped oh. us off. That is me. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Look yeah. at that thing. That's, that's fun. Hey, Bear. How about that? There you go. All right. Well, Look at that. Cabela's mm-hmm. ripped off this whole podcast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Um, all right. It's a good that's place to start. Yep. All right. All right. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. So I'm this week, I'm in Columbus. I'm in, in Columbus, Cincinnati. Cincinnati. Yep. Somewhere, very somewhere else. Mm. Somewhere. Are you playing the arena where the Blue Jackets play yes. Columbus? Oh, I believe that's so. Cool. That's, yeah, cool. that's yeah, where yeah. we saw 21 Pilots. That's where we saw 21 Pilots. Very fun. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, in Charlotte. Yeah. Uh, yeah, these shows coming up, they're all being the round. So two in Columbus, then Cincinnati and Charlotte. That's crazy. Uh, Nationwide Arena. Yeah. yeah it's going to be It's uh, going to be a wild run. And then you don't take your foot off the gas for – not till not july till summer yeah 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 jeez dude yeah 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 it's this is the big this is uh the the second half of the be funny you've know? had some good time off some rest time yeah off. i've had some rest yeah. uh i'll take a special it. somewhere in there along the way and uh and then yeah the fall and i think being 25 i'll be kind of chilled out and uh and then i think you know sometime in 25 we'll probably start another tour so awesome yeah, this will be the end of the Be Funny. Is uh, This is it. Uh, this weekend, I'm at the Palace Theater in Crossville, Tennessee with Henry Cho. Nice. January 26th, I'm co-headlining two shows at the Walnut House in Murfreesboro, Tennessee, which I've done shows there before. It's a great place with um, Paul Aldrich. So two shows, oh, cool. January 26th. Awesome. This weekend, I'm in St. Paul, Minnesota at Laugh Camp Comedy Club. Next weekend, I'm in uh, Des Moines, Iowa at the Funny Bone, and then the big one, uh, Zany Chicago, first weekend of February. Uh, I'd like to sell those out. Um, so if you're in Chicago, come on out. All right. Thank you. Well, uh, Tuesday, January 16th, my Netflix will come out. Yes. So watch that. Tell your friends to watch it. It's going to be great. It yep. is great. I know it's great because I, I recorded it, and uh, I know what it looks like. I'm very happy with how it looks. I'm very happy with the jokes. Uh, I'm not always happy with everything that I film, and uh, I am happy with this. I'm mm-hmm. very pumped about it. I had to be involved in the whole editing process, and sometimes when you watch it over and over again, you start to hate it. Well, I didn't start to hate it. I love it. So check that out. And then January 20th, I said 19th earlier. January 20th, I'll be in Dayton, Ohio at the Funny Bone. All right. Uh, awesome. Yeah. All right. Uh, all right. That's it. Uh, I hope you guys, your 2024 is off to a, a, a running start. And uh, we will see you uh, next week, I guess. Yes. Yep. Yeah. As always. All right. We love you. Bye. Nate Land is produced by Nate Land Productions and by me, Nate Bargetsy, and my wife, Laura, on the Audio Boom platform. Recording and editing for the show is done by Genovations Media. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to catch us next week on the Nate Land Podcast.